Hello, today I am strapped for content. I got I got two videos in the works. I got I got one I just finished scripting last night. I got one that is like in the middle of scripting, but I gotta figure out a way to make it not suck dick, because it just it's a topic I, I am pretty passionate about and I wanna get that video right. And my script is it just sucks balls right now, even if it, it covers all the main points I want, but it, it just sucks. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do something a little different, a little spicy, little uh, little treat for you guys. I got I got I got this little uh, packaging for uh, just just a few minutes ago. Out. So what is in this big fucking box, you ask? Well, how about we crack open the old uh, the old C branded knife and we uh, we take a look. We uh, crack this joint open. Let's, uh, let's see what we're working with here. I mean, you read the title. You know, assuming you didn't just click on whatever the fuck you saw in your uh, recommended, or maybe you're asleep and this uh, this ended up in uh, your you know autoplay. But we're we're gonna crack this fucking thing open. We're gonna see what we're working with. Fucking hell! Come on. I have such a ratchet fucking setup right now. You have no idea. It's actually embarrassing. Like I'm hoping this video is gonna look okay. It certainly won't look great. I'm using my fucking webcam. Instead of an actual camera. Jesus Christ, whoever packed this is an arsehole. It might look shit. The video might look shit. But you know, I'm 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 a I'm a budding YouTuber, I'm a young man, you know, I can't get everything perfect. I like to have high standards, but of course we cannot always deliver those. You're gonna have to make do what you have, and that's what I'm doing right now. This is wrapped so tightly I think I'm gonna break my fucking knife trying to open this. Oh my goodness gracious. Fuck! Oh. Okay, what the fuck is this? Hang on. What the fuck? Look, I'm opening the box, right? Gonna blow my address there. I'm opening the box, and inside is yet another box. Do you see that? Who fucking did that? Mate, there's cardboard flying everywhere. Asbestos. I think I'm gonna die from this video. Oh, here we go, here we go. I'm sorry, you can't see- you can't see anything I'm fucking doing right now. Jesus Christ, they fucking hooked me up. Hang on. You see this shit? Oh my god. They got all the fucking- they all got all the crap. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't want all this. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna make a massive mess. Shit. Fuck, who did this? It's just a Terry. Just- just Ken with a hat, man. Clean all this shit up. God damn. I feel like I'm breaking into like a United States government fucking extremely secret safe with like nuclear codes or something into it. They pack this shit up so tight. There we go. This boy. This boy better be in mint fucking condition for me to go through so much trying to open him up. Jeez, I'm still not even there yet. My god. Oh, shit! Here we go. What does that say? Give me a T, give me an E, give me two R's, give me an Y, give me a Y, give me a Bogard. What does that say? Terry motherfucking Bogard, bitch. Oh shit, here we go. Get this baby up. Alright, let's see how good the face is. Let's see if I got a good face, see if I got a bad face. I'm really scared. This is what really put me off getting the figure. It seems like... You can get like a bad face. It's like an amiibo. You get bad face or good faces. Pray for good face. Pray for good face, everyone. All right, here we go. I'm gonna look at it. Oh shit! My fucking thing's not high enough. God damn this video. Oh shit. How's his face? I can't really. I can't even get the thing to zoom in. How's the face? Yo! I got a good face Terry, man. Holy shit, you can't tell because I can't fucking focus this goddamn camera. That's a good face Terry, let me tell you. Oh shit, this is mint in box. Fuck. This is awesome. I got this for under 100 pounds. And, uh, this figure usually runs from like 120 to uh, like high 150s. So I saw this for under 100 and I was like, fuck, I'm gonna go for it. Even though. Oh shit. Alright, that cracked open a bit easy, but. It was 19.99. It still counts as technically under 100, right? So let's get him out of here. Come on, Come on Terry. Oh shit, I'm hyped as fuck. 
This is such a cool figure, man. Now, I've got some history with uh, the DRS line. Not with Terry, but uh, I got some DRS figures before I got this Mega Man. This is a good figure right here. He's very stable, and I fucking hate like good smile products, like Nendoroids and that. That are so flimsy, and they, you know, you, you flick them slightly, and they fucking crumble on the spot. I'm very particular when it comes to the quality of, of figures. There's loads of cool looking figures out there. But what really annoys me when I buy them is shit like Figma and Nendoroids. They look good in the, in, the, in the screenshots and they do look good, but they're so fucking flimsy and they're impossible to pose and all the different parts just like are so fucking delicate. You can't really fuck around with them much. And I think Diaz, particularly this Mega Man, this Mega Man is fucking lit, bro. This, this motherfucker is stable. I pose him, he stays there. He doesn't feel flimsy. He, he feels very much like I can, I can, I can do all this crazy shit with him and he'll be fine. And my camera's not focusing. There we go. I can do all these crazy poses. So this is like an example of, of the best kind of sort of figure you can get like this. He's really good. But on the other end, even in the same, in, in the same line. The Diaz Zero, very, very fucking flimsy. Look, good looking figure, right? But I feel like he's gonna fall apart any second when I'm moving him around. He's very fucking flimsy, he's, his legs jiggle like that. It just seems like luck of the draw, honestly. So I'm really interested and kind of scared to, f to find out how this Terry's gonna be. Is he gonna be like stable and uh, I like them to be a little more stiff, or is he going to be a flimsy fuck like 99% of the figures I get? This Mega Man's great. I use him for posing, like I use him for referencing all the time when I'm drawing Mega Man, because he's just, he's just that good. He's just that fucking good. I can put him in whatever pose I want. He's not going to fall apart. He's great. This is a great figure. Let's see if Terry measures up. Let's see. I hope he does. Here we go. Rise, Terry. Rise, my son. Okay. Gosh, I can barely fucking get him out. Fuck you, cunt. Oh, his hair fell off. Here he is. Yo. Oh, shit. Dude, he's tall. You're a tall boy, Terry. Holy fuck, this figure is awesome. Shit, let me get the ponytail in. Got like a spare ponytail. Yeah. Get the shit in there. Dude, this looks so good. Okay, so first impressions right off the bat. This motherfucker's having trouble standing. I had to put the little cardboard box he came in behind him because he was just fucked otherwise. But uh, I'm actually really happy. He seems pretty solid. You know, like I was saying, all these figures are so flimsy all the fucking time. He, he's alright actually. He's a bit loose in the legs. But everything else seems really like, I don't know, secure. I wish my camera would focus, man. This video is a fucking disaster. This video is a fucking disaster, but... <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't get that good face, fucking hell. Nah, he does look good. Like, he looks goofy in all those pictures I see of him, but uh, this is a good looking figure when you see it in person. Damn, look at that shit, man. Fucking awesome. He's jacked as fuck. This, this just looks straight out of the fucking game. This is great. And he's pretty fucking poseable, he's pretty fucking flexible. He's looking good, he's... I can see myself- you can do a lot of fucking stupid shit with this figure. Which is great. That's what you want, that's what you desire. And he actually comes with... A little... Bag. Which I love, I fucking love that they included that, that's awesome. And of course he has all these fucking fire effects, like burn knuckle and that. And power geyser. I'm gonna try and sub. Oh shit. Okay, so power geyser doesn't actually connect to anything. It's just a static prop that you can. Yeah, here you go. Power geyser kick, I guess. Fuck, <laughs> this looks so stupid, bro. Terry Brap. Terry Brap. In conclusion, this Terry figure is very good. I recommend you pick it up. If you got money to burn, if you like the character Terence Bogard, only problem is the motherfucker can't stand up for shit.
this video is over.